What's up everyone? Be the installer. My awesome wife Jen here to hey help guys. me. And we brought the video that everyone has asked us about. Affordable TVs. We always do these really expensive TVs, giant 98 inch, but a lot of people just want a TV for something like a guest room or maybe a kid's bedroom or even an inexpensive TV for your living room. So we're gonna go over a bunch of TVs that fit that bill, including this 58 inch Hisense R6, which is a pretty solid TV, Roku TV. So we're gonna go over all those specs. Yeah, Bran, I mean, you know, when you're talking about affordability, there's really no better place than Walmart and walmart.com to get your goods. They've got a wide variety, a huge selection, and you know, you can get pretty much anything you need there. One of the cool things is, is you can order online and then pick up in the store. So if you wanna be able to do that while you're picking up your other things for the big game, like snacks and stuff like that, or you can just have it delivered right to your home, which is super simple. And I'm really excited about this TV because this is our guest room. Like we don't use it that often and we don't need a $2,000 TV sitting on the wall that never gets used. So this is a great TV that I'm really looking forward to because it's got great value and you know, it's got a really great operating system. Simple, that's what I love. Yeah, and I'll go more into the operating system in a bit, but I think we should get this out of the box and start getting it up on the wall because that's the end game right there. Yep, end game. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Got the nice little Roku remote, huh? Mm -hmm. I like it. And while Jen is checking this stuff out, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and all that. And make sure you go to betheinstaller.com where you can take our new TV quiz and figure out what TV is right for you. Do that at betheinstaller.com. Are you gonna lift this top off? All right. First time. Look at that. I like it. You know what? This is probably one of the first TVs that we've been able to just lift it out of the box in a while. We normally do 85 or 98 inch yeah. TVs, so. I can actually see over this one. Yeah, Barely. I'm feeling this, I like it. All right, you ready to pick this out? It's kind of slippery. <laughs> yeah. You're going all the way under, huh? Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got it. There you go, you push down, I'll pull it up. This is how you take it out when you're a one-man installation crew. <laughs> Whoa, almost dropped it. There you go. You wanna peel some plastic? Yeah. There you go, perfect. I'm gonna slide this up. There you go. Pull it off, there you go. Ooh, look at that. Picking the TV up with one hand. So now that we have this up here, we can kind of see all the details of the back here. It does have this like 200 by 300 millimeter VESA pattern or VESA pattern. So you can, you know, adapt it to most TV mounts. And then it does have three HDMI ports on the side. So you have three ports. One of them is the ARC eARC. So you can actually connect it to a sound bar or a speaker system. And we're going to talk about that in a minute because I am going to recommend a corresponding sound bar that would match this TV. So stick around for that. And then at the top, it does have an antenna. It has a USB port, a digital optical out so you can send that to an older school soundbar and then at the bottom there it has your ethernet port. This TV funny enough for it being an affordable TV has a composite input so you can connect you know old school Nintendo or something. Or a you VCR? Could, there you go VCR. <laughs> you could even connect your camcorder and play your home movies on the yes. back. But I don't know if we're going to be doing that in a guest room but anyways it's pretty cool. And then on the bottom here you actually have speakers so that's uh, what we're gonna talk about the soundbar in a minute because the sound's going downward. It's probably gonna sound just fine in this room, but um, you know, that's kind of the makeup of the TV and that's why they're thicker at the bottom normally is because they have to house the speakers. Overall, pretty thin TV though. So we should get the brackets on here so we can get it right up on the wall quick. Let's do it. Here you go, Jen. Mm. You can do it. You can do it. Jay the installer, huh? Yep, that's what it is. I already got the screws for you and I have the screwdriver. This looks good. There you go. Thank you. Nice and tight. All right, get that bottom one. And so now we're one, two, third hole this way, or you know, fifth hole from the top. So make sure you're in the same one. Okay. All right. So now all we have to do is really just put it up there. Nice. You ready? Yep. Let's do it. All right. Wow. Nice and smooth that yeah, went. That was pretty easy. That's a good size TV for this room. It is. Solid. And I see there's plenty of plastic for you to peel off. Of course, you have to secure the mount here. All right. Let's 
plug it in. All right, you gonna pull that plastic off? Oh, I am. I'm just gonna sit here and observe the view. <laughs> Still a little tall. Very secure. Ooh, it's got a whole sheet of plastic over it. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Easy peasy. Hit the corner. Can you get all the way around? Let's see. Ooh. I bet you don't make it on the bottom. Oh! It stopped. It wasn't. It it's wasn't me. It just didn't have it. <laughs> So I'm actually pretty impressed. It's got a lot of nice like plastic covering the TV. It's very well packaged inside that box. So for a you know, more affordable TV, so far so good. But I think we need to turn it on. I think so. All right, let's do it. Where's that remote? Where's that Roku remote? Roku. So the Roku remotes are pretty straightforward. Big power button on the top there. The home and the back button are very easy to find and navigate. And then you have the navigational buttons and okay right in the middle there. It's, it's a very easy remote to use. It has very popular apps at the bottom. So if you're using those, piece of cake. And on the side then you have the volume control up, down and a mute button in the middle. So pretty straightforward. And all these Roku TVs have a similar remote like this. So why don't you fire that one up, Jen? So Roku TVs are pretty easy to set up. Jen's got the remote. I got my phone in case we need it. Fire away. Let's go. With the Roku TV, you get this little startup screen. It's like a three minute video, I think. Kind of shows you all the features of the TV. So if you're not tech savvy, you can watch this. I would normally skip it when I install these TVs. And if you can see, I'm, I'm kind of at an angle here, Jen straight on. It looks a lot better straight on than from an angle. And that's something you may notice when you have a TV that's more affordable. Uh, you have only one great viewing angle. So as you turn it toward the camera, avoiding the lights, you can see that it's clearly brighter when you look straight on than if you turn it away. So that's kind of the angle you've been getting. But again, you know, you have to make some sacrifices when you're getting one of these great affordable TVs. So as I said before, the Roku TV is very straightforward. You can clearly see that you need to add channels right there. You can set a sleep timer, very important things in a guest room. If your family has different apps they wanna use, add that, go to bed, very easy. Connecting other things, we'll talk about connecting a soundbar in a second. But it's also cool because you can reorganize these. So if you wanted to, you know, go down here and grab the spectrum app and move it up to the top, um, that is something that you can move right here and then go ahead and put that as the first one before, you know, even the live TV channels that you get with the Roku TV, if that's the app you want people to use in your house. And, you know, Jen's family has Roku TVs and they have Spectrum TV. I used to have Spectrum TV as well. And it's cool to have this app because you can access all the channels on the TV that's on the same internet, straightforward. So you can do that with all these different apps. Very cool, I like it. it's very easy, especially for people that aren't very tech savvy. Hit the button, boom, good to go, watch TV. And just to show you a little content, let's open YouTube to a really good YouTube channel and check that out. All right, here's a great video of us unboxing another TV. It looks pretty good, but you can also just go back into that star button and then you can um, actually you know, change some of the settings. You can increase the brightness. Like right now it's on picture mode, is on low power. So you can move it to some other ones here, normal, sports, even a vivid mode that makes it brighter. Why don't we just leave it on sports? I think that's kind of the content we're probably looking at here. And then you have all kinds of different uh, settings. I normally like to do the warm temperature, which again makes it a little darker, but I think it looks better overall. We can even check the volume to see that it sounds pretty good. I think it's just fine. <laughs> a funny moment in our previous video. But I think it sounds good enough. However, if you guys wanted to make the sound even better, you could get a nice Hisense soundbar that's made to fit with this Roku TV. It's a 2.1 channel soundbar that can also be mounted underneath this TV. 
So you can buy these mounted brackets that go on the back of the TV. I don't have it here. We've installed similar ones before, but basically you just put that on the back of the TV and then screw the mount in for the TV above that. And then it can hang a soundbar underneath here. So you could get this very inexpensive TV, a nice little soundbar that sends sound directly out at you versus having the speakers go down and some of that sound getting lost. And you can connect it with one of those mounted kits, or you could just set it on a stand if you have a dresser here. So all those are great ways to get an affordable TV and soundbar and sound in a guest bedroom like this. And if you wanted to get a different TV that wasn't a Hisense, if this isn't your brand, there's all kinds of great options. TCL makes a couple different great TVs similar to this. They have a four series TV, which is almost the exact same size. I think it was a little bit smaller, a 55 inch versus a 58 inch. But TCL has been known to have good quality Roku TVs as well. And if you wanted to upgrade a little bit further and get something a little bit higher end, you have the 5 Series, which is a very good TV. Now that is a little bit more expensive, but it's discounted greatly on walmart.com. You can get either one of those TVs online, check stock and supply at the store, and then go pick it up like Jen had mentioned before, or just have it delivered to your home if it's easier for you not to have to hassle with going and getting the TV. And if you have a specific brand, like say LG is your brand, LG makes great TVs as well with the WebOS and they have a great affordable option, the UQ7590. We reviewed the larger size of this TV, but more or less it is great for watching sports, cable, whatever you might watch in a guest bedroom like this or a kid's room. It actually is great for gaming as well. So you can pick up the LG. If LG is your brand, you're not as familiar with the Hisense or the TCL. And if you're a big fan of Sony with Google, OS. They also have a Sony X80K, which is again, a little bit nicer of a TV. So now we're starting to move up in price as we go. But all of these TVs are great affordable TVs found on walmart.com. And all of these TVs can be found in the links in the description below. So definitely check them out. Visit walmart.com now. But Jen, we have to go in the office because this is a big TV, but in my office, I want to watch a football game while I'm editing a video or something. So I got to show you something in there. Ready to go? Another TV? Yes. Another TV. Oh, goodness. Let's do it. <laughs> So here we go. We have the 32 inch Hisense Roku TV for the office. So I can put this one up there and I can watch the game while I'm working. What do you think about that? I think that you've got a lot of screens. Yeah. This could go boom right here. Let's take it out real quick and see how it looks. Okay. You want to lift it? Let's try that lift again. <laughs> Woo. There we go. Wow. This TV is way lighter. Very small, very easy. I think it was under $150 for this screen. It's got three HDMI inputs, very easy to mount. We could just put that right up on the wall there. I don't know, whatever level you might think. And then you'd have another Roku TV in the house, all the same apps, easy to use. I think it would work. But now I kind of think maybe we should just put the big one in here. Because if I go in here. Of course. Oh no. Does it fill the space properly? No, you're always going to go bigger. <laughs> so why don't we just install this real quick and see how it works. Yeah, that sounds like a you thing. I'm not doing that. I have a one TV a day thing. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. I can't believe she just left me here to hold this TV, but I think I can install it myself. But I want to know in the comments, is this the right size for this area or should I go bigger? Let me know in the comments and make sure to smash the like button. Of course, it really helps the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell and all that. And if you want to buy any of these TVs, check the links in the description below and I will see you on the next one.